Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the brake system of 955T wheel loader. This is Sammy from Sinomark Heavy Industry. Welcome to my video. There is a Sinomark wheel loader, popular model 955T behind me. It's equipped with Weichai engine, Hangqi transmission, and Changling driving axles, which are stable and quality guaranteed. After engine started, air compressor will sustainably supply pressed air to the air reservoir through oil water separator. The safety valve of oil water separator would be activated once the pressure inside the air reservoir reached the set value, so that extra air exhausted to keep the air reservoir pressure within safe set value. When you step the brake paddle, the pressed air from air reservoir we we'll go to brake boosters at the front and the rear axles through brake valve. Pressurized brake oil will we'll go to the brakes at the four wheels from brake booster. Then the pistons of brake pushed by the pressurized oil to clip the brake discs which realize the brake of wheel loader. When brake performance slow down, then you need to check firstly if the brake air pressure is enough. If the air pressure is not enough, then please check if any air leakage with pipelines or safety valve stuck by something. Also, don't forget to check the air compressor condition. If air pressure is in normal, but brake performance not so good, then we have to check brake oil quantity, condition of brake valve, brake booster, brake itself, brake block and the brake disc. Here I'd like to remind you that brake oil should be not mixed. Newly added oil must be the same model with existing one. One more thing important to protect the brake system is exhaust the water in air reservoir every day when job is done. All right, that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave your comments below. Tell your friends and subscribe to my channel. More videos will be coming up. This is Sammy. See you guys.